Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. How's the audio? Is everything good? I think it's good. I think. Am I like, am I clipping again? I need to turn it down a little bit. Ah, okay. I think I, I think, I don't think I'll clip. Okay. All right. Good morning. Morning, everybody. Whoa, that's a lot of gifted. Whoa. <laughs> Mr. Veek, thank you for the five gifted memberships. Lace, thank you for the five gifted memberships. Taco, thank you very much for the five gifted memberships. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Good morning, everybody. Once again, it is I, Vesper Noir, the resident scholar of the Adventures Guild Tempest and a member of All Stars English, and we're doing a quick Zatsudan. Don't let me go over an hour. If I try to go over an hour, I'll be like, ah, I'm working, it's fine. I'm trying to avoid my responsibilities, so don't don't let me go over an hour. I need to make thumbnails. I need to make like a. I need to do like last minute checks and stuff like that. And then I need to. I probably want to get a little. Get in a little bit more practice. Sing a little bit, right? Yeah. Sakura Mikage, thank you very much for the five gifted memberships. Thank you once again. Oh man. <clears throat> I'm definitely tired, but. It's a good kind of tired. It's not a mental tiredness. It's just like a physical. I haven't, I haven't been, cause I need to get my like, I have to get like the full eight hours of sleep or like I start to break down <laughs> physically cause I'm old. I'm old. So if I, if I don't get enough sleep, I actually starts to start to break down a little bit. Um, and I think I've been, I've been sleeping like under six hours, something like that. Decomposed Vesper, exactly. Ah. Uh. Like when you mountain climb. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> oh. It's not... The, the, the karaoke is not going to be good. But it will be presentable. <laughs> I've been... I've been monitoring my progress and like it's... It's not going to be good. But the thing is like... What? It'll be it'll be presentable, which is good enough. Ah. Really, the issue is like power. I tend to talk. I tend to sing like this, and I'm like too afraid to actually get loud. That's what I've been working on. Yeah. 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 Oh, I gotta get my, I gotta get thumbnails and, uh, yeah, managers were like, yeah, thumbnails are super important, especially for big events like this. So try not, <laughs> try not to do what you normally do. <laughs> I feel like. I feel like they're very gentle with me. <laughs> they're very gentle. Like, they don't want to say, like, they don't want to, like, directly call me out. But they have to, like... It's like they point towards something that they see as an issue, but they don't look at me while they're pointing at it, right? And it's just like, ah, oh, please don't. <laughs> please don't take this the wrong way. <laughs> Ah, good stuff, good stuff. <laughs> Low key called out. Happy early vet birthday, Vesper. Get that thumbnail done. <laughs> Fod Nalu, thank you very much. Thank you very much for five months of membership. <laughs> I will, I will. I'll. So I gotta practice the karaoke songs, the set list. I gotta make thumbnails. There's a couple more stuff that I need to either practice or get ironed out. Oh, man. Whew, so much stuff. You should see some of the thumbnails that Olga Senpai pulls out. Olga Senpai and Roberto Senpai. <laughs> like, yeah, I like their thumbnails. <laughs> Proud tradition of like... Efficient thumbnails, right? We're, we're efficient. We're, we have we have time efficient thumbnails. 
Astel semis are just like incomprehensible. Like I just don't, some of them are just like stock images. <laughs> some of them are like stock images of like Western people. And it's like, what? <laughs> They're time efficient. They're time efficient, okay? We we are time efficient idols. Like we, yeah. <laughs> Nikki GZ, thank you very much for the super chat. Good luck with all the prep and all for the birthday stream. Looking forward to it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Nervous, but... It'll be fine. I think, I think I've done so much practice work and prep work that it's just kind of like... That's the upside of doing practice. That's the upside of like putting in a lot of preparation into something. Um, not, not that I think that you guys will be disappointed, but my, my brain is just like what you're giving, what you're giving to the Vesties is not just the performance. It's also like the prep time, right? So even if it's not that good, I put in like a good amount of prep time and it's like, that's, it's like a for effort. I know, I know like that's a joke. It's like a meme to say, oh, A for effort, but that's like literally how my brain can justify it. And I get less nervous because it's just like, yeah, even if it doesn't do that well, A for effort. Yeah, 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 yeah. A for meme worthiness. <laughs> yeah. I would like to add meme smith to my like list of things that I'm known for. Like, you know, Axel's a doctor, he's a gladiator, he's a hitman. I wanna be a meme smith. I wanna add that in there. Shake my head, I can't spell. Spell what? Ruben Ibarra, thank you very much for the super chat. Don't say this to be negative, but you must be hell on Monachan for a completely different reason. I fully admit, I fully admit that. Uh, I don't, I don't. I like all of the new guys, but I don't know them that well, but I can fully admit that of the, of HQ, I'm definitely like, I'm definitely a, like the, a handful. <laughs> yeah. I'm definitely like the one that, yeah. <laughs> that they have to watch out for. Yeah, the problem child. Yeah, that one. I believe like when I came back, somebody called me like, the resident bad boy of all the stars English. <laughs> Which is an incorrect, like weird, but okay. Yeah. Ah. Crush me. Thank you very much for the super chat. Good morning. Good morning. Gramps, I got beef. I'm addicted to umeboshi. Yes. Takoyaki puffs. Unigiri crackers. Thanks for your snack stream. The strong potato is so good. I'm still thinking about it. I want more strong potato but they don't have it here they don't have it here actually i should check amazon maybe maybe somebody's got it on amazon but i bet you it's like it's like six bucks for like a bag strong potato yeah <laughs> treacherous saint thank you very much for the super chat my third eye sees a gramps docky for birthday merch I can't squeal and tell you what they all oh, that got a war is like do not do not do not spoil the birthday merch here is the graphic for it do not spoil it I can't spoil it but unfortunately it is not a docky it is not a docky I apologize <laughs> and Asti Nivna thank you very much for the super chat good morning good morning howdy I've always found comfort in you while listening to it you enjoy your company when I'm lonely or starting my day. I wanted to ask if you would totally be my platonic and parasocial Valentine. Hmm. That's a tough question. He hates us. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on. I, I like historically have felt very uncomfortable on Valentine's Day. It's not a story, but I used to I used to ride bicycles with a group. I've, I've stopped since I've started like working more, right? We used to do like very, very long bike rides. We were like, uh, like an Audax, Audax crew, but 
Um, we used to do like an annual birthday, not birthday, annual, um, because <laughs> my birthday is like a day before, my, an annual um, Valentine's Day bike ride, right? And it was like the whole day from like eight to eight. And it was like, what, what, was, our, what was our name for that ride? It was like, it was like, ride together, ride or die, or something like that. And it's just like, it's just like four dudes. And we're just like riding bikes like all day long. <laughs> but then one by one, they started dropping out. Cause these traders started like dating and then later they got married. And then, and then it's just me now. <laughs> so it's just like, no. Nah. Anyway. I hope you guys take care of yourselves first and you don't prioritize. It's both money and time, but it's like mostly time. Time is like very precious, right? I want to make sure you guys are like focusing everything that you need and everything that you want on yourselves. And then like if you have time left over, you can like hang out in a stream and then, you know, say hello and hang out with me. But yeah, sure. If you want, you could be my, you could be my... You could be my platonic and parasocial valentine if you want. Yeah. Time is important. Lip Jumper, thank you very much for the Akasupa. Holy shit. Happy early birthday, Gramps. I'll be working then. I'm solo traveling to Japan next month. Yo! Good luck, good luck. I hope you have a great time. Any advice on things that I should do so far? Plan is eating A5 olive wagyu. I had wagyu. It was good. It was really good. Trying themed bars and going hiking in the mountains. I love you doing you. Don't bother anyone, Grants. Yeah, I'll do my best. I'll do my best. Okay, advice on things that you should do. Let me think. I mean, that depends on what you like, right? That depends on what you like to do. You seem like you're pretty similar to me. I didn't go to a themed bar. I didn't go to a themed bar. But I did go to a couple. One or two. I did hike in the, not in the mountain mountains, but like the areas around Tokyo. Wagyu was really good. Okay, I have to like give like one legitimate advice. Okay. Hmm. There's like, there's like fishing centers in Japan. You don't, you don't need like your own gear. Although some of them you can bring your own gear. It's like a it's like a concrete pool and then you pay money and then you go in and then you can like fish. And then you catch a fish and then like they like they like measure it and then you can get like it's like Chuck E. Cheese, but you go fishing instead of like other stuff. Explain the wagyu taste. Ooh, how do I describe wagyu taste? You like bite into it. I went to a, yeah. I went to a place where it's just like, they grill it in front of you, like on top of like an iron plate or whatever. Not an iron plate, but you know what I'm talking about, right? And then they cut it up and then they gave it to you. And then all I have to do is just like pick it up and put it in the mouth. And then when I bit into it, it's just like a flavor, a flavor explosion in my mouth. I don't know how to describe it. It was really good. Yeah. I would I would recommend like going to one of them fishing places and just like relaxing, right? I think for me at least, I think um when I go on vacation, there's too much of a there's too much pressure to like make make every minute worth it. But I do think like the enjoyment of the vacation will increase significantly if you sprinkle in points where it's like, you're supposed to do this, but like it's relaxing, right? 
So it's kind of like, oh, I'm going to go shopping. I'm going to go visit here. I'm going to do touristy stuff here. I'm going to go hiking. And it just like wears you down. So I do think it's good to sprinkle in like, oh, I'm going to go fishing. I'm going to go fishing at this little concrete pond thing. And it's like, you're just, your job is to like sit there for two and a half, three hours and just like, yeah. <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my recommendation. I won't be able to renew membership indefinitely for personal issues. It's not you, it's me, but I'll be keep watching in the voice as much as I can. Yo! Time, time is more valuable than money, in my opinion, right? There is that quote from the superhero movie that I like took to heart. I can't, I don't, I don't know if I should mention the name of that superhero. Just, anyways, we're just gonna move on. It's like all the money in the world never bought a second of time. 100% true. Time is just like way more important. And like, don't, don't spend time on us that like you need to be spending on yourself. And it's just like, if you have like an extra minute or two, if you could watch out the, watch any of the boys or, or myself, we would appreciate that. Nikki, you do need to hear that. Time, time is everything. Time is, is so valuable. Yeah. Dead Man's Candle, thank you very much for the super chat. Good morning, good morning. Hi, Grams. I recently got a great new job after a search, and your Zaz has helped keep me sane for months of searching. I feel I never would have had this opportunity without your voice and stories pushing me on. Big thanks. You did it all yourself. If if I'm anything, I'm like uh, I'm like the feather, right? I'm like the feather that, like, quote-unquote helps you fly, but, like, I'm actually useless, and you did it all yourself. <laughs> oh, people are going to have a field day with that. Anyways, yeah. <laughs> Congratulations, it's all due to your hard work. You made it. <laughs> Soggy Rice, thank you very much for the super chat. Grandpa, I got a raise at work. Hell yeah, big win. Another one. You need to get another raise. And another one. <laughs> then you'll like Sparta, Sparta kick the CEO like off a cliff and then you're the... You can't go any higher than that. Or can you? Lork Frack, thank you very much for the super chat. Gramps, I finally got my players to get I finally got my players to get along again. Their two PCs are now essentially brothers because they committed horrible crimes together and got caught. That's like that's like a brotherhood forged in fire. Yeah, and have a common goal. I'm so happy. Huge win as a DM. Huge win. When you can get characters to like entangle their lore together, is good. It's good stuff. War crime calls. <laughs> Can I even mention that? Ah, that's fine. I got more tea. Okay. I was, I was not gonna stream on Valentine's Day, and I was just gonna do my like solo ride by myself. <laughs> But I had to cancel Outer Wilds because of my mistake. I I like I actually like went up into Discord and then because because my manager was like, hey, when do you want to schedule the birthday stream? Because we we have to we have to match up the merch shop and stuff like that. So like they asked me like when to stream and I was just like, oh, I'm in Japan. So like here I'll stream on the 13th in Japan just so I don't forget, right? And then I came back and it's just like so I had to like. I'm feel I'm jonesing for outer I need to finish Outer Wilds. I need to finish it. So I think I might I think I might do an Outer Wilds stream on, on Valentine's Day. IDK. IDK. The thing is there's so much good stuff going on, right? Everybody everybody is doing a really cool and interesting like Valentine's Day stream. So like why not just watch one of those, right? But my, my mindset is just like, ah, you don't, you don't have to watch. I just want to play Outer Wilds. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ah, delicious. Amberly Wright, thank you very much for the super chat. Happy early birthday. Today's your birthday? 
One day ahead of me, excited to get your merch for my birthday present. Enjoy the karaoke. You'll do great. Thank you very much. And happy birthday. Happy birthday. That reminds me of when I was an idiot child. That reminds me of when I was an idiot child. And I had to... Because there was like a... There was like an... When I was an idiot child, I used to think like, if you were born one day ahead of me, you were older than me. And then somebody had to tell me like, you know, like years, they go around in circles. So there's like, there's like a February 13th every year, right? <laughs> so if somebody is born on February 12th, they might be younger than you because it's the year, the years after you were born, right? I love, I love the, the funny ways that like kids can be stupid, right? Meta, thank you very much for the super chat. Good morning, good morning. Outer Wilds is just a Valentine's Day stream for fellow wizards. Let's go. Felix Wuff, thank you very much for the super chat. Tomorrow's going to be a busy day for you and the Vesties. Really excited for tomorrow to celebrate with you. Also, bro, that Hakka drawing, true banger. I'm mad proud of your art. Thank you, thank you. Actually, all right, all right. I, I like actually remembered something as to like why I have an affinity for drawing birds. I took, I took that art class in middle school and that was the last time I did art that I remember, but in elementary school, <laughs> it like, I just remembered in elementary school, I was obsessed with birds and I filled up like entire notebooks, just drawing like one bird the same time, like the same way over and over and over again. And it would just be like, haunt, like maybe like, Maybe like over a thousand pages in like, you know, the crappy notebook, spiral bound notebook, like over and over. And it's like a diving falcon. And I would just draw it over and over and over again. But like, to be fair, when I was a kid, I didn't see that as art. I just had like a book. I got like a, a book of birds and then I was like flipping through it, like a picture book. And then I was just like, I like that. I like that picture. Something about it like activates my neurons. It's like the monkey with the tiny little brain and then the eyeball, like neurons activated. And I would just like copy that. And first I would like put the paper over the page and then trace it. But then later I got so good at it, I could just draw it on repeat. And that, that might be the source of why like I can draw certain lines with a lot of confidence because like that's the same line that I drew over and over. It's like Netero, like punching and praying like 10,000 times in one day. I remember I got in trouble. I think like a fourth grade teacher or fifth grade, fourth grade. My fourth grade teacher confiscated my notebook because I wasn't paying attention in class and she flipped through it and it was just like the same picture over and over. It was like, 80 pages of like this same damn bird like over and over and she was just like what the hell is wrong with this kid what yeah so so when i say like oh like i've never i've never done any art i guess i have but when i did it i didn't realize that i was practicing art i was just like i was just copying this bird that like activated my neurons It doesn't even look like Hakka. It's like, uh, I know, I remember exactly. <laughs> I remember like the flavor text. It's a, it's a peregrine falcon that's like mid dive. And it looks like the way that it's drawn is like, it doesn't look completely organic anymore. It looks like, it looks like a spaceship. And I remember thinking like, that's an animal. That's like literally an animal and my, my brain knows it is an animal, but like the shape of the bird makes it look non-organic. And it's like, that is so cool. And it was like the peregrine falcon can dive almost up to 200 miles per hour in pursuit of its prey or something like that. Was it 200, 150? I don't remember. Ah. Uh. I would just like draw it over and over and over again. Yeah. 180, something like that, right? 
It's over 200! Anyways. <laughs> Gila Max the Space Feet. Thank you very much for the super chat. Damn, you made me remember my lizard drawing book. Lizards are so cool. I love lizards. <laughs> Speaking of like kids that do like stupid things. <laughs> it's fine. None of you guys know this friend. And uh, like, I, I, it's fine. So, <laughs> my buddy. You know the one. My buddy. <laughs> My buddy. <laughs> My buddy had has an older older sibling. And he did <laughs> and he didn't know that like you couldn't My buddy didn't know that like you didn't have to listen to your older sibling. It was just like he just thought that like you had to do whatever the F they told you to do, right? So like one time <laughs> His older sibling was just like, okay, you have to turn in a circle in place and you, and then he started doing it and he's like, I'm getting dizzy. When do I stop? And then the sibling was just like, you can't stop until I tell you to stop. And then they walked away. And then my buddy was just spinning in place for like a long time. <laughs> he started crying. And then like his mom came and he's like, what the heck are you doing? He's like, I can't stop. I can't stop. He's like, just stop, 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 stop. And then he stopped and it's like, what? <laughs> what? What's going on? Like, why are you, what? And it's like, oh, like, <laughs> big sister said, I, 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 I just had to spin until she said I could stop. And it's like, no, you don't have to listen to your, you don't have, just ignore them if they tell you to do something stupid. I love the ways that like kids just like don't, Kids are st <laughs> I can say this because I'm also like that. Kids are just stupid in the funniest ways, right? I'll never get over that. It's just so funny. Actually rotated. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Andy Romo, thank you very much for the super chat. Hi Vesper, I will try my absolute best to finish some fan art for your birthday. Will you be checking your tag on Twitter? Regardless, I can't wait for it. Ooh. Yes. Yes, I will. Yes, I definitely will. Mm hmm mm hmm Thank you very much. No pressure. Even if you finish it like afterwards, I'll, I'll check it. I'll check it out. I promise. I promise. I do ch I do check my tag. I do. I know, I know I'm bad at Twitter. I know. And I apologize. I'm just like... I'm very bad at it. <laughs> There's no excuse. There's like absolutely no excuses to like... I do I do check it. And I joke. I joke to membership that it's like... Ah, yeah. I just gotta like pop in once a month and... Tweet some like weird cryptid shit and then like pop off and I gotta keep them guessing, right? Yeah, I do a little trolling on Twitter, but it's also just like, I don't know. I'm not I'm not I'm not a Twitter guy. It's okay, I'm bad too. Yeah, for real, for real. Got to keep them on their toes exactly. La criatura. <laughs> I love the cryptid stuff. Keep that up. Okay. We'll do. We'll do. You're a Facebook old man? Nah, 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 nah. MySpace. Zanga. Wait, you're meant to postings on Twitter? Yeah. It's content, baby. Neo Shadow, thank you for being a member for five months. Lork Frack, thank you for being a member for five months. Just Googled the players in the actual war crime. Holy shit. Live journal! Oh my god, I remember live journal. Oh my god. You're an SCP. Am I? There's like a oh man. I'm a fake SCP fan. I don't remember the I don't remember the, the classifications, right? Oh shoot. There's one that starts with the K, I think. What are the classifications again? Keter. Keter's the one that's like world ending, right? I think. No! Shut up, Koshi! I know what that word is. Shut up. 
Euclid. No, that's a Polyon. Yeah, 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 yeah. One of them is like world ending, right? I'm a fake fan. I like that pizza box. That one's my favorite. I like I like I like the pizza one. That one's my favorite. Classification old? Is that me? If I were to if I were to like write my own SCP, it would be like any time you put computer electronics in a dumpster and then you close it and open it. It's like it's like the quantum moon. Sometimes I'm there, right? You just open it and close it over and over and over again, and then like there's like there's like a there's like a way to like statistically calculate like when I'll show up. You just open it and I'm in there, right? And then you close it and open it and then I'm gone. Yeah. That's my SCP like article. Nor Vesper. SCP sixty nine sixty nine. Classification old. <laughs> Lork Frack, thank you very much for the super chat. My favorite book of diseases that makes you think that you have what you read about. Literally Facebook diagnosis for diseases. Oh my god. <laughs> no way, it's a thing? They're already up to 6969? Damn. Class small. <laughs> oh, good stuff. Ah. <sighs> Under no circumstances must you give SCP-6969 a bicycle. No, no, that's just a bit wacky warrior. Thank you for the super chat. I have a question to ask. Do you still have your stash of zombie underwear or were they confiscated? It's just a bit. It's just a bit. We're past that. People forgot about it. Don't worry about it. That's ancient history. Listen, listen. Little bit of, little bit of, little bit of, uh, content creator entertainer pro tip for any of the Vesties that are like aspiring streamers or, or like entertainers, etc., etc. Never, never let a bit overstay its welcome, right? It was funny. I liked it. It was good, but I think it's time to like put it to rest because like if we overdo it, then like it gets weird, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know many veteran creators that need to hear that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just a bit. Rule of three. Don't get typecast by bits. Exactly, exactly. Body Aga Pisotza fans can stay. <laughs> ah, bring it up for the anniversary. <laughs> we miss Ariaga 2. Ariaga 2 should be like. We need to see the football clan again. Uh... <laughs> we can bring back all the old bits for just the cringiest ironic stream. That's actually a good idea. Maybe, um, maybe for the, the one year anniversary, I could, I could just do like, instead of doing, I don't want to rewatch my, my debut stream. I really don't want to, which is like the staple, right? Instead of doing that, maybe I'll just do like a, like a lecture where I go over like the bits, like the fa my favorite bits that I've made over the year, like the bit award, the biddies, right? Like, like a bit award. <laughs> Come on. Do I have to?
I might, I might. If Papa Yago says I have to, then I will, right? Vesper, it's a tradition. You have to rewatch your debut. It's a tradition. It's like, all right, okay. I came here for Project Zomboid, but stayed for the old man stories, which reminds me, I gotta, I've been paying for the Zomboid server this entire time. I've been paying like $25 a month this entire time. I should, I should reset the server and then do season three. Season three is not going to be like, everybody has to play. It's just too much effort. It's just like, it's like a Minecraft server. You could just log in whenever you want to play. Yeah. I left my gym membership running too while I was in Japan. I'm so scatterbrained. And it's just like, come on, Vess. Come on, dude. Zomboid is like a 10 out of 10 game. It's so good. Have you read the SCP-5322? And the road stretches on. It's really similar to your over 4K bike files bike story. I think you would enjoy it. Interesting. Interesting. How is that an SCP though? Like, how would they contain that? Well, there's a lot of like weird stuff, right? Like the stair staircase one. That one's freaky as hell. Interesting. Interesting. Ranger FGO, thank you very much for the super chat. My friend told me this when it said that. What day is your birthday? So I have cursed knowledge. Apparently February 13th. No. No. No, no. 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 Do we get an FTL stream? Would you guys watch me play FTL again? I was thinking of bringing back FTL if I could mod it, but because I, I haven't really played FTL with mods before, like even off stream, but then it, you know, mods are like tricky and it's just like, ah, don't, don't risk it, which is understandable because like, what if the developer is just kind of like, ah, that's not the way that we intended it. Like just some like, weird stuff in that mod and it's just like ah and then i spoil it for the people that want to play ftl in the future right so i i actually do i do i do um i take management side on like the mod thing right because it's like out of out of like the developer's control like the yeah while that's definitely true vin that like they link it on their website so like it's just like it opens up like a slippery slope for other games that have mods, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> Anywho. FTL. <sighs> Maybe I, I can bring it back for a stream. Maybe I could bring it back for a stream. I have... <laughs> I pitched the idea out a long time ago and nobody bit. <laughs> I pitched the idea out a long time ago. I was like, to the boys, I was just like, hey, if you if you play FTL, I would love to do a bit where I put on like a robot voice filter and then I'm like an AI that's assisting you with FTL. You're you're the captain of the boat and I'm an AI that's just like, are you sure you want to do that? Right? Something like that. That'd be kind of funny. Because <clears throat> I'm not, I'm not good at FTL, but I'm like solidly into mid tier. I know, it, like, every gun and what it does, and I know the, the typical stress to beat the, the flagship. Yeah. And it's just, like, the idea of me as a robot is just funny, right? Hey, Mario Gallardo, thank you very much for the super chat. Recently discovered Dwarf Fortress, ever gonna stream that? Yeah, uh, actually, wait, is that on the docket? Let me check. I probably shouldn't talk about, like, schedules, but... Hopefully you can't see this because that would be a disaster. Okay, let's check. Yep. 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 Uh, I could probably do it next month. I think I pushed it off February because I had to add another game. 
I had to add another game. I think I think maybe in, in March I'll play it. Ah, delicious. I mean, I could squeal game choice, right? I've already got nothing. Nothing that's on the calendar is like perms pending. Like it's already like in. For sure, it's in. All right. I mean, we got we got New Vegas. Like we got to play New Vegas, and I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna try to smooth brain it and pretend like I'm gonna try to play New New Vegas smooth brain. I don't think it'll be fun if I just like skip all the way to like the crazy weapon that you can get like right at the beginning and then just like destroy everybody right i'm gonna try to role play it maybe i don't know my goal is to make it entertaining Ooh, a low int run might be funny but the thing is like if i if i make it if i add in like a challenge if i make it a challenge build i'll like slip into like try hard mode right I actually watch, like, anybody that will stream Fallout New Vegas, I'll just, like, watch them, right? And I have come to the conclusion that, like, the game is so well-written and bizarre at points that, like, you don't need to, you don't need to try hard. It's just, like, an experience in of itself. Yeah. <clears throat> but, uh, Fallout New Vegas is on the docket. There's a game that I'm excited to play. It's like, okay, so... So you guys convince me that like it doesn't I don't have to just focus on games that I feel confident in. It could just be like a game that might be outside of my type that I think would be fun to watch. There's a game that I've never played before that I want to try out and it's like a style of game that I typically don't really play that much. Uh Soma's on there, but that's not the one that I'm talking about. Soma Soma's like a horror game. That'll be the first horror game that I play on stream. Have you guys ever heard of River City Girls? I'm going to play that one. Yeah. We got the perms for that one. And I'm going to play River City Girls. Yeah. I heard it's like a banger game. I heard it's like 10 out of 10. Yeah. Uh, one. River City Girls one. Yeah. And I hope you guys will forgive me if I'm like really bad at it. And I'm just like fumbling around. Because I just, I'm not used to that style of game at all. Um... Yeah, yeah. I want to see you play a GRPG. I love GRPG. Right. Should I? No, I should be very careful with like what I talk. Like I just, I love GRPGs. I love them. I love GRPG. Oh my god, it's very difficult though. Because I feel like if if we could play them. If we could play them, I feel like that should be like Axel's thing, right? But I'm sure you guys all know like it's it's a it's a little difficult, right? And we have like similar tastes. I think both of us like the older style stuff, right? Do it, Jimmy, squeal. What's my favorite Dragon Quest game? Let's let's talk about like JRPGs that we like. I mean, Chrono Trigger is, like, up there, right? Uh, I'm not saying that I will play this. We do not have, like, permissions, right? I'm just talking about, like, JRPGs that I love that are near and dear to my heart. Final Fantasy Tactics, the original, is really good. I like Advance 1, Advance 2, but, like, the original Tactics is, like, up there. Chrono Trigger. Um, Final Fantasy 9. Final Fantasy 6. Final Fantasy 12 and 11. Dragon Quest 5. Heavenly Bride. Probably my favorite Dragon Quest. I also like 8, too. 8 is really good. Uh, Xenogears. Oh, Xenogears is like... Oh, so good. Xenogears is so good. Oh, my God. Get this man a Xeno Saga. Let's go. <clears throat> Tails. I played a little bit of Tales of Fantasia, I think on the GameCube, but the Tales game that I like the best is Destiny, Tales of Destiny, which I don't think many Vesties will remember. That game came out of nowhere for the PlayStation 1. 
It came out of like nowhere with no context to like the Western audience. What about Lunar Silver Star Story? Lunar and Lunar 2. Oh, Lunar, Lunar is really good. Lunar, Lunar was like, cause there was like, there was like fixed pricing for video games and Lunar just like ignored that. And I remember when it came out, it was like a hundred dollars to buy Lunar. It's just like, what? I am rapidly aging. <laughs> Ah, <clears throat> oh, good times, good times. <laughs> Black Mage 666, thank you very much for the super chat. Papa, I have become his orb. What do now? Ponder. Ponder yourself. Black Mage, it's time to become introspective and to ponder yourself, right? It's time for you to grow. Introspection is a good thing. It's very good. <laughs> Wacky Warrior, thank you very much for the super chat. Who is your bride of choice? Bianca, Flora, or Deborah? Mmm, good question, good question. I think... I think Deborah was added in... Is it like a DS remake or something? I know who Deborah is, but like, I don't... I didn't play the DS version. So I can't speak for that one. So, and Flora is like vague too. For me, I think it's like Bianca. Yeah. Like I vaguely recall. For me, for me, I think it might be Bianca. Anyways. <laughs> Well, Toto Doll, thank you very much for the super chat. Xenoblade Chronicles is my favorite game of all time. I know you played Xenogears, but have you ever played Chronicles? I don't think I have. Have I watched somebody playing it? I like vaguely recall parts of it. I think I've watched somebody play it before. I think I think Chronicles came out when I was already like not a gamer anymore. Did I tell you guys this? Like. I love video games, and then I reached a point in my life where I just, I couldn't play video games anymore, and then I was just, like, not playing video games anymore. I think, I think... I still watched videos of people playing video games, but I didn't play it myself anymore. Yeah. Oh, not Burnout. It was, like, college, like, the academy, and then work, right? There was a point, like, when I was at the academy where, like... I just couldn't play video games anymore. And then I stopped playing, focused on schoolwork, and then I graduated, and then I was working, and then I couldn't... Yeah. Dead Bob? Oh, wait, wait, hold on. Shin Tatsu, thank you very much for the super chat. I love it because it's really refreshing to watch and enjoy content from someone that I know is around my age that I can relate easily to. Ah, one of my people. Welcome, welcome. Stay a while and listen. No, I can't do Deckard Cain. I have to, like, conserve my voice. I'll do a Deckard Cain for you later. <laughs> I'm Orban Orbius. Stand back, Festies. I'm about to orb. Okay. Dead Bob 5, thank you very much for the super chat. Have you ever played the Suikoden series? The upcoming remaster of 1 and 2 would be a fantastic starting point. Also, the spiritual successor, A Yuden Chronicle, comes out. I don't even... I, I can't promise anything because I don't... It's just a, it's just a permissions thing, right? I can't promise anything, but I do remember Suikoden. I do remember it. The art was like really good. I think I remember trying to find it. That's a PlayStation game, right? I don't think that's PS2. I remember like I couldn't find it. It was very difficult to find. It like, like it was just like not sold anywhere. And it's just like, what? Where do you find it? I remember I saw it in like PSM, like PlayStation Magazine or something. And I was like, yo, this looks like a good game. This looks like I would like it. And then I would like go to Best Buy and try to find it and they never had it. There's so many video games like that. Like you guys don't understand because you grew up in the internet era where you could just like order stuff and it would show up on your doorstep. 
but like back in the day like if it wasn't at the blockbuster or or best buy or or eb electronic boutique like you just couldn't get that video game it didn't exist five minute warning all right thank you thank you everybody yeah yeah i gotta work i gotta work I paid ninety dollars for Suicune and one <laughs> fun collab. <laughs> what the hell is even fun collab? What is fun collab? That's like a ridiculous title. I know GameStop. I know Electronics Boutique EB. What the heck is fun collab? What is that? Now GameStop? Pre-GameStop? Oh my god. <laughs> uh. Ranger FGO, thank you very much. Let's let's finish the super chats real quick before I because I got five minutes, right? Ranger FGO, thank you very much for the super chat. I forgot to ask, are you planning to do more short video edits in 10? Yeah, 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 yeah. I actually have two that are like queued up. I've just been like so busy, like Akashi finished editing them already and they're like uploaded onto my channel. I just haven't released them yet because I've just been so busy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my neck. Ricky Gomez, thank you very much for the super chat. Have you ever heard of Dungeons of Dreadmore? Pretty good roguelike, definitely feels like it'd be up your alley. I've never heard of that. Dreadmore? I don't think I've ever heard of it. Interesting, interesting. Oh, he's back again. <laughs> eating, <laughs> eating Mike Tyson's ass. Welcome back. Thank you for chilling in my stream. I appreciate it. Huge fan, huge fan. <laughs> <laughs> the legend. Beer, thank you very much for the super chat. Speaking of JRPGs, did you ever play Shin Megami Tensei games other than Persona? Actually, I haven't. I actually have never played a Mega Ten game. I know it's called Mega Ten, right? That's like one of the nicknames for it. I've watched my college roommate. I like sat on the couch and watched him play one, like almost start to finish. I remember eating. <laughs> I remember eating like cold pizza and watching him play. Cold pizza. Just like cold, disgusting pizza. Yeah. God, good times. Verdugo Arulak, thank you very much for Super Chat. Uh, these nuts. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Hiro Hoshire, thank you very much for the Super Chat. Since you mentioned Final Fantasy Tactics, I have to ask if you played Tactics Ogre. Tactics Ogre, did I play Tactics Ogre? I'm trying to remember. I believe there was one for the N64, or was that like incomplete? I don't remember. I think like Tactics Ogre is like a SNES game, right? SNES is like, there was one on the 64, right? Yeah, there was Ogre Battle 64, and then Tactics Ogre was SNES? I don't remember. I don't think I've played it. I don't think I've played it. I do know the lore behind Final Fantasy Tactics. I do know the lore of it. That it was, yeah. There's like deep lore. It's like related to the Tactics Ogre series. One minute. I think I want to redirect into Hakka. Is he live yet? Hold on, hold on a second. I know I told you to bonk me if I go over one hour. I'm not going to go over one hour. But... Has he started talking yet? Let me, let me, let me wait until he's talking and then we can redirect into Hakka. Okay? Okay? Can you guys, no? No? Not allowed? Not allowed? Is he talking yet? Come on. Come on, guys. I'm not trying to break the rule. I'm not trying to like procrastinate for no reason. I just, I just want to wait to redirect until he's like talking. Redirecting into a loading screen is just like, eh, come on. Let's go. 
<clears throat> wow, that's a really cursed name, but I like it. That's an incredibly cursed name. Spiders visiting you for breakfast. Thank you very much for the super chat. If you like Chrono Trigger, I do. You should check out Sea of Stars. It's just got a demo and it was made by Chrono Trigger fans with music. Ooh. Wait. It just got a demo and it was made by CT fans. So this is like an indie game? Like a fan made game? Huh, interesting. He's talking? And he's live? He's talking? Okay, all right. Arnolfo Mendez, thank you very much for the super chat. Thanks for the stream guard. Thank you very much for watching. Dex, thank you very much for the super chat. Can I interest you in a Soulsborne game? It's difficult to it's difficult to get permissions for anyways yeah thank, thank you for the super chat it's difficult to get permissions for that games like that anyways <laughs> all right let's go let's go let's go check out what hawk is doing right he's playing like a surgeon simulator game all right i'm not gonna i'm not gonna do like an ending screen we're just we're just ending all right take care everybody take care take care goodbye goodbye see you tomorrow i'm doing like a stream oh i'm not doing a morning stream it's just it's just birthday so people that'll tune in at 10 a.m like i'm gonna i'm not i'm not i'm not gonna be there sorry okay all right